I was going to do another recording session of me trying out a new art program. Maybe something on my phone or whatever, but then I got really distracted by the thought of the one true program to use. MS Paint. You see, I started out on MS Paint ever since I was a wee lass. I made some uh, interesting drawings and uh, comics, like these Club Penguin comics, for example. By the way, rest in peace, Club Penguin, you were great. Um, later on, of course, I got more patient, made use of the basic curve tool to help me draw smooth lines. This was before we had really nice, sophisticated free art programs, and there weren't much free drawing apps either. They were like really simple stuff too, and I only had iPod Touch for the longest time, so yeah. None of these like giant, giant ass like screens on smartphones and stuff. So anyway, I thought, I gotta go back to my roots. I gotta revisit the pain of no layers, no fancy tools, all that. Of course, the tools don't make the artist, but it's certainly a challenge to use only a very restricted set of options to draw with. So for this, I picked a decent portrait piece to draw, to, sorry, redraw in MS Paint, which is one that I did about a year or so ago in Clip Studio, you know, my favorite program to draw with, not sponsored. Uh, I try to stick to only the eraser, paint bucket, and pencil tool. That's right, I'm being really basic here. So I kind of briefly actually messed up and used a bit of a brush in the initial sketch, but I quickly switched over after that for the actual drawing. I think much of the process is very much the same as what I'm used to doing. I do, you know, a simple sketch at first, and then I start coloring in parts and painting on top of it. Now the main difficulty here is that I'm very limited with just the pencil tool as the main um, thing to color with, to draw with. So I don't really have a good dynamic range in the brush size. You know, the pencil only has one brush size, so I can either make a nice closed loop and fill it with a paint bucket, or I literally have to color it in with a tiny pencil tool. Um, I did a little bit of both, uh, but my, <laughs> my sketches are really messy, so it's hard to fill with a paint bucket, and so I just have to go back in with pencil. Um, and because the pencil tool is very um, binary in how it works, like you, you, it's literally, there's no blending to it, um, I'd have to just kind of go back in with a slightly different color or use hatch, hatching to uh, kind of create a somewhat gradient. Obviously it's not very smooth, but it's, uh, it works, it works. And I think a challenge for me is that I didn't have the picture open like on on this program, so I didn't really have a good way of color matching. So I really kind of just picked more colors from scratch with the color wheel. Um, it's kind of annoying that the uh, program doesn't carry a lot of space in the palettes up there in the top right. But not that was too much of an issue for me, I just used the eyedropper tool. Oh, another thing about the eyedropper tool. Very useful, but I don't know if there's a shortcut for it. I'm very used to having a shortcut for on the keyboard um, or on the pen itself when I draw in like nicer programs and stuff. I guess I don't know if MS Paint has that and actually didn't try, but it has never really occurred to me that maybe they would have something like that. I don't know, maybe I'll check that out later. How, how to uh, use MS Paint, because I've definitely seen people make videos where they draw with MS Paint and some people know their way around like, doing things in this program. So yeah, there we go. There's a... Uh, I, I didn't draw background because that's just too much work, but here's the main thing. This is the main focus of that drawing and I think it came out pretty decent, a little messy. The colors on the MS Paint version actually came out a little brighter, um, which I actually kind of like the look of that. It's The old one was a little bit um, duller in color, although obviously, you know, it's more smooth and well painted. Anyway, with that out of the way, uh, afterwards I decided to see how, uh, 
how things could be if I just use the mouse instead. And in fact, you know, here you go. Here's the footage. Oh boy. Uh, okay, try again. Oh my god. This is cancer. <laughs> That's just small, but, uh, fixed. Yo, man, I forgot. I forgot how hard it is to use a mouse. Like, it's, I feel like it's easier with a trackpad, but, um. Damn. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Decent. Um. You know, it's looking a little less bad with some initial colors in here, but um, I don't know if I could keep doing this. <laughs> I think at this point, um, I've kind of, I've kind of ruined it. 